Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys this journal that I made. The cover I have this handmade rose. And it is removable. I actually attached it to this ribbon as a closure. And so... Here's the rose. And it's attached with this little bowl pin on the back. So this can actually be removed. Um, okay, and then this is the journal. And it has a lot of stitching. This is actually made with... Um, the cover is actually a mailer. And I use a mailer for this because I love the color coming through the lace. I just think that is so pretty. Um, and the lace is actually some vintage. Um, it's from a vintage dress and so is this pretty tool and then this, um, I don't know, I think that's rayon. So all the fabric is actually from a wedding dress. It's all hand stitched on here. And inside there's a pocket. Okay, so I have some more hand stitching, some embroidery on there. I just love the way you can see the the craft colored paper coming through. I think it looks so good with these colors. And I really wanted to kind of showcase that. And I have some more um, vintage lace right there. This front page has this tag on here and this is, is removable okay and then these come in the these just tuck in there and this is a little little bundle and this is just some um, pretty paper I actually sewed Let's see if you can see it. I actually sew this ripple on here and I made tiny little knots on there. And um, each one is cut separately because I thought that would be just a really pretty look. I'm hoping you could see it on camera. Okay, and then, then there's plenty of room on the back for uh, journaling. Okay, and then here's a little tag with some angels okay and then this gets tucked in here this gets tucked in here also I use my Starlight collection and my Rose Red collection in this journal. Okay, I have some embossed paper on here. You can journal on the back. And I have this pretty card on there. It's just a perfect little spot for journaling. And again, all the digitals I use, I will link in the description below. I have some washi tape right here and then here I have this pretty card and it tucks in here and now the laces that I have in this journal I actually have from my friend Susie with Alabaster Flask on Instagram she's Alabaster Flask and on Etsy she's Mary Not Martha so like this is from her, this is from her, this is from her. So a lot of the really pretty laces are from her. And then, um, like the 
she has really pretty velvet also she has really great prices so you guys go ahead and check her out she has really great um, appliques which I just love I think they're really great statement pieces for a journal I just wanted to mention that you guys check her out I will add her um, info in the description below I love this paper I think it's so pretty it has like an embossed effect and then plenty of space for journaling or even collaging on there I love this too isn't that pretty and some pretty background paper um, this is just some really thin vintage paper it's like the first sheet of a vintage book when you open it and it's um, it's a lot thinner than uh, most pages and isn't that pretty I love this this is one of my favorite um, printables this is from the rose red collection is not that pretty I use some masking tape right here um, to kind of reinforce the paper. So some of this vintage paper is really fragile. When you bend it, it tears. So I use uh, masking tape to enforce it. And I really like the look of it. I think it's really pretty. More journaling space. And how pretty is this? I love this paper so much. I try to leave a lot of blank pages also so that the owner of this journal has room to kind of make it their own. And so there's room for journaling and for collaging or adding pictures. And I love the way this looks. I love the way the green and the red uh, looks against this um, vintage. Uh, book page or I think this is like a catalog I think that is so pretty this is from Amity Bloom and I love to mix digital so I included this in here because I love that brown craft color I think it goes so well with this collection and it works so good with the cover of this journal I just think it was perfect so I had to get it to use in this journal this is from my Starlight collection. And then this is a little tuck, a little tuck spot. You can just tuck in a little note in there. I added a little bit of glitter um, sparkly washi right there. I did some slow stitching right there. This is also the other side of the Amity Bloom page. I love this too. I think it's so, so pretty. Let me give you guys a close up of it. Isn't that beautiful? And I love the way they look together. I think they look so pretty. have a book page here and I use some of this um, sparkly washi tape to create a little flip out and then you can journal right here and you can add little pieces in here and they kind of this can kind of keep it kind of tucked away I love this too isn't this pretty I just love this old vintage paper so much I'm gonna set it down. Okay, here 
I have these little bits of trim. Okay, here this flips out and I actually love, I love that, isn't that pretty? It's a little cluster with a seal on there. And then this right here is actually, I added the little fabric. It's actually um, silk sari and I just sewed. I stitched it on there, but then it's also reinforced with this. So I really love that, I think it's so pretty. And these tuck in there. Okay, and so I love the little stitches on there. And then I'm going to show you guys how pretty are these stars. These are actually little stickers, and I found them at Walmart in the crafting aisle. And they are dimensional. They feel they're like hard, like almost like a plastic or like a metal. That's how they feel, at least. Okay, so you can see the little stitching. I think that's really pretty detail right there. See that? Okay, and then I have this. This is actually a printable from my Etsy shop. It's in the Rose Red collection. It comes with the button card printable. And so basically, I printed it on cardstock and I backed it up with this pretty design. Okay, so I cut everything out and I made this little fabric swatch because I thought this was so pretty. I just wanted to add this to the journal. I love the beading on there. And then I added a bowl pen with this little gold star charm. I think that's so pretty. Okay, and that just gets tucked in here. You can just journal on the back, and it's such like a pretty little detail in a journal. Okay. Okay, and then this is a pretty postcard, and I just love um, this is actually tissue paper I found at Michael's and I love this effect. I think it's so pretty and again I love that craft color. I've been so inspired by mixing of this craft color, this brown with like lace and pretty um, vintage pieces. Kind of like this. This has really inspired me. Okay, I just love that cream against the craft color. I think it's so pretty and the contrast is really nice too. Okay, so I have this little package in there and I got little pieces that you can use in your journals. This is perfect for journaling or adding a title to a page. A great way to add some color or um, interest to a page. So basically you can just journal on the whole page and then add this on the corner like that. Or you can turn this into a tuck spot also. So that's just a few ideas of how I like to use them. You don't have to use them that way, but I just like to give kind of ideas for them because sometimes people ask me how would you use um, certain printables. Like this, this is a flashcard printable that I have in my shop and I love using them and layer them like on clusters. They just add such a nice look to um, to a page or to like a little envelope. It's a great way to embellish and add some detail. Okay, I did some collaging on here and I just love the way that looks. You can always add more or you can do some journaling on here or do some more layering and um, I just love collaging. It's such a nice relaxing way to work in a journal. Okay, and then here I have this really pretty journaling card. It's another big one. Actually, um, let's see, I think what I did was, I think I printed a, a regular sheet as a 5x7 for this one, okay? And I added some sari ribbon at the top and I actually got the sari ribbon from Heather with Rose Hill Paper Cottage 
pen. I think it's so pretty. It's so perfect for a little ruffle. Okay, and then I have a little gold star. And then this right here is a washi tape strip. And I just love using these. Again, they're such a per uh, perfect little addition to like a little cluster. And then I just tied a little bow on here. And then I have the, this is vintage tool, and this again is from like a wedding dress. I think it might have been like the underneath part of the dress. We have been collecting um, just different vintage gowns, and my husband and I used to do photo shoots. And then when we had kids, I'd have my, my daughter dress up and some of them. And so um, I have a collection of wedding dresses and vintage gowns. But those are really like unique and special so I wouldn't tear up. But there are a few that were falling apart. So I was able to actually use some of the pieces like this in my journals. And I think it's so pretty. I mean, you don't find this anymore. I, don't, I haven't been able to see anything like this at um, like Joann's. I notice like I'll go to Joann's and I just, it's not the same as when you find some um, antique or vintage um, fabrics or even dresses that you can repurpose like this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so this lace down here is from Susie again with um, Mary, not Martha. And I tied three little bows down there and I think it's so cute. I just love it. Okay, and then you can have the back for journaling. I actually glued down some ledger or some vintage receipt paper on there and I did a little bit of stamping. And then just attach that on here. Okay, so here I have this little piece. This is actually a, um, this is register tape. And I just love using it. This is from my friend Cheryl with the Journal Cottage. And I just love the register tape. She actually coffee dyed it or tea dyed it and it's just perfect. And I just added a bit of lace and the star and then I tied this little, um, bow on there and I think it's so cute. I have been um, using a lot of bows in this journal and I think they're so pretty. I've been uh, using a lot of bows and also the stars like I have the star the ties right here. I have the stars right here on the binding. I basically cut those out and glue two together like that with the and I tied the end um, and I glued them together and the little knot on the end is what I'm hoping will kind of hold them together so they don't just come out. So how pretty is that? I'm just, I love the glitter and I love the stars and I thought it would work so well in this journal. I think it's so pretty. Okay, let's move on. Um, okay, so this side, again, these can be taken out and the cool thing is you can add them Anywhere in the journal, you can glue them down if you want and make them tuck spots, or you can just attach them just like that also. Okay, how pretty is this? And this is some gold paper. I layered it over some gold paper from um, either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember, but it's so pretty and shimmery. Okay, and then this is an aesthetic photo printable from my Etsy shop. I did a little bit of collaging on there just to add a little bit of detail. And then I added again some sparkly washi tape. I think it's so pretty. And I backed it up to one of these printables and then I added that little sentiment or title on there. And I think it's so pretty. I love all the little details. Okay, this right here is a tuck spot with the birds and then back here I have the button card and then I have this card with the angel and isn't that pretty? 
I just love it. I think it's so beautiful. So they just get tucked in, in here. Okay, so here we are on the last page. And here I have this journaling card with all these bits and pieces. And see how I use the label on here for uh, a tuck spot? Actually, just cut it off right here, but you can also fold it over if you wanted to. And I did some embroidery on there. Those little roses, and then I have these little pieces that I added in. This is a journaling card. And then this is some faux washi tape. This is a little punch of a rose. And then isn't that cute? I thought that would be perfect right in here because this is like a little pocket. And then I have the little ticket strip. Okay. Okay, and then at the top I did a bit of stitching on there. And this again is some vintage fabric and then these are little uh, floral appliques. Okay, and then there's the back. I added some tickets on there just to add a little bit of color and interest on the back and this is some faux washi and this is the perfect place to collage or to journal so and then I just tuck this in here I love adding pockets to my um, journals because I always store all my pieces in the pockets especially in the front and the back um, that's where I kind of store all my pieces as I work on my journal. So that is, um, that's always really practical for me, but it's also pretty. And here, I want to show you guys a close-up look of the edges because I think they're so pretty. I just love all that stitching. I added the little lace right there, like underneath the paper and I did the little cross stitching and then all this stitching I think it's so pretty okay this is from a vintage dress and so is the fabric and then I signed it right there and then I got some more stitching okay so that is And then that's the back cover. And again, I just love the stitching. I just love the way this, this cover came out so much. Probably one of my favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed this flip through and I hope it inspires you guys and your creations also. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell button.